Hey guys, this is Philip with Music and Photo Booths. I've never done uh, something like this yet, so I figured I would go ahead and take care of it now to get a tutorial video on how to set up the Photo Booth backdrop system. That way, for those who are going to be in training and decide they want to do this, they will have the opportunity to learn this based on this video. So let's jump right into it. All right, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and open up this bag here. Uh, which holds the base plates to the backdrop system. So there's actually gonna be two base plates. You have this metal frame. It's got a little, uh, so maybe about four to five inch uh, pole right here. That's where the backdrop uh, poles are gonna slide into. Um, but this is the start of the base of them. So just take these two out um, and then We'll show you how to set those up here in just a second. All right, so this is the poles that are gonna make the complete backdrop frame. So I always tie them up with some bungees because if not, they will move all over the place. So um, just undo those bungees. There's gonna be four pieces on the backdrop system. Uh, four different poles that are gonna do four different things. Um, let me show you. So you have this pole right here uh, in this standard position it's about six feet yep um, it has a black uh, black grip thing here on the bottom so you'll see the use of that here in just a moment uh, but you have two of those you actually have two of those and this is the other one same thing exactly these are what the uprights are going to be like, so they're going to stand straight up and upright uh, position. And then you have two separate poles. One is for the bottom. This is the bottom pole. And this other one is for the top pole. So you'll see how all these work together to slide in uh, to the pockets and make the full backdrop frame. Alright, so we're back now and what I want to show you guys is the base plate and how it's going to be laid so when you have one of these base plates down here you want this uh, little groove in here to be facing towards the other base plate so this outside part is going to be the outer part of the backdrop system so when you lay it down like this uh, the other base plate should be about seven and a half to seven feet apart from each other so when you spread them out like this um, this other base plate right here should be separated from this one at least seven to seven and a half feet and i'm just going to keep them close now so i can show you so this upright piece that has a little uh, black groove thing on the bottom uh, which is going to hold <coughs> excuse me hold the bottom pole um, so basically this upright is going to stand straight up like this and then it slides into the pin of the base plate so you're going to have the pin this black piece right here is going to be facing out towards the other base plate. And what's going to happen is you just go ahead and slide the other base plate with the other upright. So you're going to have two separate uh, uprights going right here with these black grip things facing each other. So what's going to ultimately happen is you're going to piece these things together and make the full backdrop system. And I'm going to show you that next. Hey guys, back again. So this time I wanted to show you the uh, actual backdrop itself. This is a gold sequin, a pretty popular one that we use a lot of. Um, but basically these backdrops are going to be 8 foot wide by 8 foot long. So, and what it is, is they have uh, pockets on four sides. All sides of them have pockets that these poles are going to ultimately slide into. So there's a pocket on the top pocket on the sides on both sides and a pocket on the bottom and these are going to get real tight and tensioned when the backdrop is set up so what I want to do is I want to show you first off is how to uh, bring into the side poles because you're always going to want to work on the side poles first you're going to want to work on these first so what I do is I take the pole off the uh, base plate bring it down at like a 45 degree angle and I slide them into the first pocket it does not matter which pocket you slide it into for the sides or the top because it is 8 by 8 foot. So it doesn't matter. Um, and then just work it in there. 
slide it, continue to work it. If you can see that, just work it, work it, work it continually until you can get all the way to the end of the pockets. And it ultimately slides down the pole. Once you have the side pocket in like this, or the side pocket, you just go ahead and put it back up on the upright and back up on the base plate. And then what you do is you have that side in first, you kind of spread out the backdrop, grab the second one right here, this is the secondary one, and you do the exact same thing like you did on that other one. You just take it, grab it from the bottom, find that side pocket hole and just work it in. So continue to work this in for the side pocket. You can even bring it all the way down like this and just kind of keep sliding it in until you get it all the way on. Then what you do is you take the same upright, you go ahead and you put this upright into the other base plate. So ultimately you have two separate, uh, sometimes you gotta work it in a little bit. There you go. And now you have the backdrop to look like this. Um, it's starting to look like a backdrop now system, but uh, both uprights have their pockets in now. And I'm gonna show you next on how to set up the top up here at the top pocket, uh, the pole that goes in the cross at the uh, top part. Okay, now we're back. Um, you already seen last time we put the two upright pockets in. So now we're gonna try to work our way into the top pockets. So these uprights are set up in the six foot position. So now I'm gonna have to get them up higher to ultimately the eight foot position. But the next level up is a seven foot position. So what you wanna do is, uh, if you can't see in the video, you wanna grab the top part of the pole, put your feet down towards the base plate and raise up that top part and you will ultimately hear a pop which is the pin going into the next level of the hole which is the next seven foot level so what you're going to do is once you get that up to that level you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side to get them both in the seven foot position upright and that's where you're going to actually start working on putting in your top pole and putting in the bottom pole to ultimately make the full uh, backdrop system and i'm going to show you that in the next video all right, so now I'm facing it uh, up here towards the top part, which is where the, uh, ultimately this pole right here, which is the, the reason you'll figure out that this is the top pole because right here in the camera, you can see there's a groove line right here that'll actually click on to the top part of this pole with their, there's holes at the, at the very top and then actually slide in. I'm gonna show you that. But what I want to show you also is these have grooves and holes to go to different levels and there's actually one separate hole that I actually had to create <clears throat> to make this the appropriate height for the top pole. Um, if you can see that in the camera, it's right here. Uh, it's just like pulling the uprights, but you just slide it right here at the top. There's a groove thing, you slide it out and you wanna actually get to that hole that is created by that I created and it'll pop in. You'll hear the pop just like you did on the uprights. So now you have the pole an appropriate height that it needs to be. And what you're gonna do, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna take this pole ultimately and you're gonna just feed it into the top pocket. So you have the top pocket up there. You're gonna start feeding it inside, just feeding along. You don't have to go down to the other side yet. You just wanna keep feeding that in um, into there until you have the pole completely in that top pocket from one end to the next um, and then what you want to do is with that groove you want to go up high set that groove in one to one of those grooves here in the top the hole will be there you'll see the groove you'll set that in there um, and then what you want to do is just go to the other side and set that pole into the groove and I will show you in the next video what it looks like completely set up. All right, we're, so we're back now, and I want to show you that the top pole pocket has been set up. It's, uh, they're in the grooves, uh, both sides. Um, this is what is starting to shape into a backdrop system, because um, now you have the two uprights in their pockets. You have the top pole. Some people don't even put these bottom poles in that I'm going to show you here in the next video. Um, but 
I like it because it gives it tension and it pulls it down and it gives it a really tight, clean look to it. I, I just don't like the wrinkles in mine. Some people do. Some clients like wrinkles and then that's fine. So we have the upright right now. It's in the seven foot position. I'm going to show you here in a minute uh, what it looked like to raise it up to the eight foot position. It's uh, not really tricky. It's just uh, hidden. And I'm going to show you that here in the next video. All right, so we're back now, and I'm going to actually show you how to upright, move the upright again up another level to get to the eight foot position. Ultimately, you already have your top pole in there. So what you're going to do is there is a pin button. There's a button inside uh, this fabric on the side pole. You want to actually move around and find that pin on the pole. And when you find it, which I found right here, you're going to push it, but at the same time, you're going to reach up and grab the pole so you can actually level it up another level. So I'm pulling it, uh, same thing as before to raise it to seven foot, but now I'm going up eight foot. It's going to go up, go up, and you'll hear the pin pop. So now you know you're at the eight foot level because the first pin pop is seven, second pin pop is eight foot. So now you're at the appropriate height. You're going to do the exact same thing. Look for the pin, the button that's sticking out, push it, raise the upright with you bracing the bottom part up on that side as well so now ultimately in the next video you'll see that i'm at eight foot on both sides with the upright already in all right so now here's the backdrop stand um, we are now at eight foot high middle pole top poles in eight foot highs uprights have their pockets the next step in this next video we're going to see is the bottom pole. The bottom pole is the last step into making this uh, tight and, and tension filled. It's a little windy out today, but uh, it's going to be tight and that way you have no tension and you'll have the complete backdrop stand set up and finished. So I'm going to show you that in the next video. So now we're back and I am going to show you how to put this pole, which is the bottom pole, into its place. It too has little buttons on it uh, with a little push pin. So right now it's at the smallest position, lowest pin. Uh, it has three holes, one, two, and then I created one because I needed it to the appropriate height. So what you do is you just pull it out, the pin will pop to the next hole, and then you pull it out once more and pop to the hole that I created, which is the last hole. So now you have an upright pole just like the other ones. Um, and it's super simple, just like it with the top pole, you're gonna feed it in here to the bottom, to the bottom pocket. Um, you can lay it out straight, just find that bottom pocket, and then just start feeding it into the pocket hole on the bottom. So it's gonna slide, just get it all the way to the end. And now what comes into play is these uh, brackets that are at the bottom of the, of the photo booth backdrop stand. Uh, they're adjustable. They have little screws on them right here. You loosen them and it will slide up and down the upright pole. Um, and then there's a little circular hole right here is where this bottom pole is going to slide into. It also too has a tightening screw. Uh, you want to loosen that when you put this in there. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that pole that's already in there, the bottom pole, and slide it into that hole that I just mentioned slide it inside of that hole you just kind of got to maneuver with it slide it in and then once you get it in you want to tighten that screw down um, don't tighten these yet because I want to show you in the next video on how to pull this down and get tension to it but now that pole on the bottom is slidden it's inside of its pocket and it's slidden into um, this hole groove with the bracket that I had and I tighten this screw down and we're gonna do the exact same thing I'm gonna show you here in the next video. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you in just a second on how to put that one in as well. So now we're on the second other side. Um, same scenario, same thing. Uh, the other one's already set inside of its groove um, in that little pole, but sometimes this one might be tricky because the base plate might be a little too close with this upright. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of lift it up just a hair and slide it out further so you're pushing it away from the other backdrop. So, and then move this groove up. You should be pretty close to getting it in there. Uh, you can turn and twist it. You can actually turn this outward 
put the pole inside of that hole that it's supposed to be inside of and it'll slide in. So once it's in there, just like before, there's that screw on the other side. You just tighten that as tight as you can so it can pinch the bottom pole in there. Um, and now you have everything set up. Top pole's in, uprights are of course in. Uh, bottom pole is now in. And let me show you in the next video with these screws on the outside loosened on how to pull down the backdrop so it has no no wrinkles it'll be fully tensioned and uh, and make it look really nice and elegant all right so we're back now and we have the bottom pole in as we just seen in, in the previous videos um, and now we have these outward screws loosened and so what it's going to do is you're going to still be able to move it up and down not as loosely because the poles in there and the ultimate goal is to get this extremely uh, nice and tensioned so how you do that is with these screws loosen, you go reach in, grab the pole with where the bracket is and push down. Push down as much as you can, not too too tight, but push it down to where there's really no more wriggle room. And once you have that down, all the way down, you go ahead and tighten these outside screws because now you're gonna it's gonna be tightening on the upright pole and it won't move. And I'm tightening it and now it's fully tightened. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Pull it down, fully tensioned. You're not gonna have any wrinkles here. I'm gonna show you in the backdrop in the next video when we complete it. And you're gonna do the exact same thing I just did here on the other side on the bottom part. Uh, with these screws loosened, you're gonna push down, tighten the screws and you'll be good to go. And I wanna show you the completed backdrop stand and system uh, here in the next video. Alright guys, this last section is a completed backdrop stand. This is fully done. There's no wrinkles in the backdrop. It's tensioned on both sides because you have the uprights, the bottom pole, and you have the two upright poles on the side. It is fully tensioned. This is what it will ultimately look at when you're doing the photo booth. Um, you're going to have eight foot going this way by eight foot going high um, the uprights are right here um, with the base plates uh, now you have a full complete it's eight foot tall uh, backdrop and then when they take the photos you'll be standing like this with the background photo booth uh, in the next tutorial we'll show you how to set up the full photo booth and in the final tutorial it'll show you how to run the software but this is it completely set up. Congratulations if you completed this without any errors. Um, this is how the backdrop stand is fully set up. And Landon wanted to complete it to be in the video as well. Right, Landon? Yeah.